Welcome. Uh, what I'd like to do is talk about what are parallel lines and a transversal. And this is going to become very, very important uh, throughout the rest of this course. So um, first of all, when you know, we, we went in with Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, one of the thing, important things we talked about was parallel lines. And you know, when we were graphing parallel lines, one thing that we noticed was that the parallel lines never touched, right? Um, and the reason why they never touched was because their slope was exactly the same. The rise over the run was exactly the same. So when we're talking about parallel lines, not always are parallel lines going to be graphed on a coordinate system. We can just say, hey, here's two parallel lines. And the way that we represent parallel lines is by we do another double arrow to show that these lines are going to continuously run in these directions without ever intersecting. So there is parallel lines. Now, a new definition that we're going to be talking about is a transversal. So previously, you know, you just learned how to graph parallel lines, talk about their slope, the y-intercept, blah, blah, blah. Now we have parallel lines, two lines that extend indefinitely that never intersect. However, there's going to come a new line that we're going to call that is going to intersect both of those lines. And when you have a line that, trans that intersects two parallel lines, we call it a transversal. Okay? And the transversal and the parallel lines are going to become very, very important on our angle relationships that we're going to be talking about. As long as a transversal intersect in two lines, we're going to have these um, intersect two lines. It's going to have these angle relationships. But the angle relationships are going to become so important to our understanding when we have two parallel lines intersected. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic um, kind of video for understanding what are parallel lines and a transversal. Thanks.